Good morning, good morning, good morning, family. Welcome back or welcome to Lin Lin. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for supporting my channel. Thank you for liking, comment, and subscribing. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for all that good stuff. I appreciate you guys so much for your continued support on my channel. Today, I'm headed into Winco this morning. I want to go pick up some food for my family. My budget today is only $50, guys. I am down to my last $50, and I'm going to go in here and see how far I can stretch it and make it work and pick up some meals and some fruit and all that good stuff for my family. I kind of have a few things in mind that I want to get. I know I want to get some shrimp. I know I want to get fruit, of course. All right, guys, let's go in here and let's go shopping. So they must be redoing the front of the store right now because as you can see, there is nothing here and usually there's a whole display of things in here. First thing I see walking in, you gotta excuse the machines, they are currently still stocking up the store, but they have these cherries in here for $1.98. So the last time I came in here, I think they were like $3 and some change and they definitely did not look good. So I wanna check these ones out and see if they look any better. These ones kinda of look like the ones that were $3 and some change and they did not look all that great. So I'm gonna pass on the cherries today, but the cherries are currently $1.98 at Winco right now. They have the pineapples now, $2.48. Let me tell you guys, I keep buying pineapples, keep buying them, keep buying them. And I went to go cut the one that I had yesterday um, in my refrigerator for a while. And as soon as I went to go cut it, it was soft. So as much as I love pineapple, for some reason I've been buying them and haven't been eating them or getting, into them, getting to them in time before they go bad. So I'm going to pass on the pineapple today. But when I really start getting into my juicing, I will definitely start buying them then because that was actually one of the main things that I was using pineapples for was to juice with them. So of course I'm in here and wanna grab some strawberries. I only see the giant ones today. So I'm only gonna grab, um, I wanna say I'm just gonna grab two of them for now. We also still have the blackberries for $1.28. So I'm gonna get a couple of those ones as well. These ones look good ones don't look bad so I got two strawberries and two blackberries and that's all I'm gonna get today because I am on a $50 budget and I do have a couple other things that I need to get also wanted to come in here and grab a couple more cucumbers they are still 68 cents a piece um, and a couple videos ago I said something about my husband doing a, a cleanse a 21 day cleanse and he is using cucumbers and apples that's all he's really been eating for the past few days are cucumbers and apples. I'm gonna get a couple more cucumbers for him. Let's see, I think I'm gonna get two of them for now. Other thing I need is another bag of apples. I did go to Grocery Outlet. Um, if you guys not have, if you guys have not seen that video, then make sure when you're done watching this one, you guys go back and look at my video um, that I just did a couple days ago at Grocery Outlet. And I went in there mostly to look for some ambrosia apples, but they did not have none. I haven't had a chance to get back over to Walmart, which I know they have them over there. So for now, I'm just gonna get a bag of these apples. I think I'll do the pink ladies this time. These ones right here look good. 
And again, they're only $1.98 in here right now. Come over here to the bananas and of course grab some bananas. My bananas go in my house really, really quick. But what I've noticed that when I buy like old thing of bananas like these, they don't really get to them as quick. But when I buy like three or four bananas, they're gone and everybody wants a banana all of a sudden. I also like to buy my bananas when they are a little green because I noticed that if you buy them when they are too ripe at first, they will go bad really quick. So that's just something that I've learned over time with buying bananas that the greener they are, the longer they last and the less they less likely they are of going um, bad like really quick they have some more strawberries over here the strawberries have actually been on manager special for a while now for only a dollar 28 i'm only gonna get like four lemons today because my husband went to the store um last night and he grabbed a few lemons so i want to say he had like six of them in the bag now because I think we should have enough to last for the rest of this week with the ones that we already have at home. I don't need any oranges right now. I still have a bunch of oranges. And I haven't really been buying the seedless mandarin oranges um, only because the last couple batches of them that we got were not good and the kids were complaining that they tasted weird. So I haven't bought those for a while, but those are $3.98. Price hasn't gone down. I wanna say the last time I got them, they were actually $2 and some change. Now they're almost $4. So I don't see that as a good of a deal, especially when they're not really ripe right now. So of course, and always, I'm gonna grab broccoli because my family eats broccoli like no other. Broccoli is like one of the best vegetables that you can have. I get cabbage from time to time. The cabbages are $1.48 right now for the red one and $0.78 cents for the green one, and that is by the pound. Um, the last time I got cabbage, of course, it's set, and I forgot to cook it, forgot it was even down there. So I try to get vegetables that I'm not going to waste that end up sitting in the refrigerator and going bad. Broccoli is one of the biggest things that my family eats. We eat broccoli all the time. I also like asparagus, but right now asparagus is not cheap. It is $3.48 a pound. So that's probably the reason why I haven't been getting that lately. I wanna say the last time I got it, it was only $1.99 a pound. So it was much cheaper. I do like eating Brussels sprouts. Do you guys like Brussels sprouts? Or do you guys eat Brussels sprouts? There's some down here. Every once in a while, I'll get Brussels sprouts, but my kids don't really eat them too much and it always just ends up being me and my husband eating them. So I try not to get them too often, but every once in a while I'll eat like some roasted um, Brussels sprouts. One time I've even tried to make the red lobster Brussels sprouts recipe. I don't know if you guys have had the Brussels sprouts at Red Lobster, but they are absolutely delicious. Um, I tried the recipe, it did not come out as well as I thought it would, but I did try it. They have some nice turmeric up here. I'm actually gonna start buying more of this. I don't need it right now, but when I go to start doing my juices, which I keep saying I'm gonna do, guys, and I honestly just haven't started doing them yet, but I think within the next couple days, I'm gonna start juicing. Turmeric is one of the main things that I've used in plenty of my juices. They look like this, and you can shave them. I cut them up, put them in my juice. You can also use it for a bunch of other things. It is a big beauty secret. I also use like a turmeric bar of soap on my face and it does clear up like dark spots and things like that. So there's really good uses for turmeric if you have never heard of it or if you've never seen it, used it, anything like that. There's very good uses for it. And it is $5.98 a pound and these are pretty small so you probably end up paying like 50 cents for something like that. So I've never had these sweet baby broccolis. What is the difference between these broccolis and the other broccolis? Can you guys tell me? These ones seem a little, a little flimsy. Um, they don't seem as hard as the other broccoli. So is that the difference between the two? These are organic as well, but these ones don't seem like they're, you know, they're kind of soft compared to the regular broccoli. I don't know. Have you guys ever tried the sweet baby broccoli? If so, how does it taste? Leave a comment below letting me know how does it taste to you guys. They've also got some eggplants over here. I have tried eggplant one time. Um, I had this recipe that I had found on Pinterest 
and it definitely did not turn out the way I wanted it to. I wanted to say it was like some eggplant pizzas or something like that. Something different that I was trying to cook for the kids and it did not turn out the way I wanted it to. But I tried it, I said I ate an eggplant and that was that. So I guess what I will try is a cauliflower. Cauliflower is 98 cents a pound. Now sometimes I can get my kids to eat cauliflower and sometimes I can't, but I really wanna find another vegetable besides broccoli to cook for them. They do not like cooked carrots. So yeah, I think I'll get a cauliflower and maybe I'll do like a broccoli and cauliflower mix for them and see if they like that. Orange, red, and green peppers and yellow peppers, they are all only 78 cents a piece. I'm going to get one of each because I have a couple different recipes that I can use um, with these peppers. There's a few things that I've done, like with cutting the peppers open and making like um, stuffed omelets, I've done stuffed rice, and when I was eating ground beef, I did stu stuffed rice and ground beef. You can also just chop them up and add them to whatever recipe you are using. So I'm going to grab one of each pepper because 78 cents for each color, that is not bad. Okay, so from the produce section, I got some strawberries, some blackberries, bananas, a bag of apples, some broccoli. I got some peppers, um, a couple lemons, and I also got a cauliflower. Let's head over here and get some salmon and some shrimp. And those are usually always the same price. I've never seen them on sale. So this is the salmon that I've been getting from here. And this is the Pacific salmon portions. This is wild caught and this is boneless skin on and it is $7.18. And I wanna say there is either four or six pieces in here. Now what I do is I usually cut it up and mix it in something. I don't usually eat them just, you know, one piece at a time because there is six people in my family. So if there's four in the pack, then obviously that's not enough for all of us. So I usually just chop it up and add it to something. I also need a bag of shrimp. Let's see, they got the large peeled tail on, and then they also have the raw shrimp peeled divine tail off. Now I usually get the tail on and then just take it off if I need to or if I want to, depending on what I'm cooking. So surprisingly, the cooked shrimps are more than the not cooked shrimps. I never noticed that. So these cooked shrimps are $8.38. Do you guys prefer cooked shrimp or do you prefer raw shrimp? For me, I used to eat cooked shrimp. I don't know, for me, it's just a little better. It tastes a little better than the cooked shrimp. Raw shrimp it is, and I usually get the large or sometimes I'll get the jumbo. If I go to Walmart, they have the colossal ones there. And I wanna say they are about the same price as these ones, $6.38. But of course you get less of them in the package. But so I'm just gonna get this large bag right here today and these are $6.38. So they also have some slide toys. I'm gonna get one of these ones as well. These are $6.08. I got a package of salmon, wild caught salmon. Um, I also got a package of shrimp and I got a package of swai fillets. And this all came from the seafood section. So over here they have 93% lean ground beef, $4.48 a piece. These are for the 16 ounces. If you're looking for some ground beef, they have some at Winko right now, $4.48 for the 16 ounces. And this is the 93.7. They also have these big ones over here. These ones are huge. This is, 10 pounds so this is 10 pounds of the 27 is 338 a pound the 85 is 428 and then the 93 is 478 so these are huge so this one these ones are like 47 dollars okay these are all 4780 these ones are all 4280 and these ones are all 3380 10 pounds of ground beef Looking over here in these shaved ice things, they have these new flavors of the Italian shaved ice. Now this is the lemon one. They have this root beer float one right here. They also have a orange and cream, oranges and cream. They got a pineapple and mango one. And then they have a watermelon and strawberry. Or so no, that's not watermelon and strawberry. They have a watermelon and strawberry one, strawberries and cream strawberry lemon and raspberry lemon 
blue raspberry and cherry down there. And these are only $2.48. I also have these Arizona fruit pops. So I've seen these at Grocery Outlet. I wanna say they just had the fruit punch and the mango one, but they have the watermelon one here as well. These are $2.78 for those. They have these True Fruit Nature's Raspberries, Frozen Fresh and White and Dark Chocolate. They sound really good. I have seen these a lot in here, in stores in general. I see them in um, Walmart as well. But these ones right here are raspberry. These ones are strawberry. They have the banana ones, and then they also have the pina colada ones. These ones are kind of expensive, but one of these days I'll try them, but not today because I'm on a budget, and those are not in my budget. Hot Pockets right now, $1.98 for Hot Pockets. I used to eat Hot Pockets all the time when I was a kid. $1.98, that's a good deal for those. I think I might be out of, or almost out of cooking oil. I use this extra virgin or extra light virgin oil. Pretty much I use this for everything. It's either this or butter. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that I'm low on this. So I'm gonna get one of these today. This one right here is $5.78. So I've been looking for a new seasoning to use. Um, right now I currently have Slap Your Mama seasoning. I also have Creole seasoning. What are some good seasonings? Do you guys have any suggestions? Leave a comment on what you think a good seasoning is. This one in here is $7.98. So I'm gonna get one of these. This is the one that I usually get if I'm at Winko. Now, if I'm somewhere else, as long as it's maple syrup, that's pretty much all that matters. Winko section of their seasonings. They have some new seasonings right here. I've never seen this one. This one is beer can chicken. That's smoky mesquite. What is this? Sizzling burger, steak and chop. And I think these ones are all the same. So yeah, these seasonings are only $1.88 and these are the Winko brands of seasonings. The one thing I like about coming to this Winko that I'm at in, in particular is that they are always well organized. Like their aisles are meticulous. Like I've never seen a store so organized, their aisles so put together. Right now I came into the store pretty early this morning and so that's why you hear all these things going off. They are still stocking the shelves. The last thing that I need to get out of here is some more water. I hope they have some water in here today. I'm looking at the shelf and it looks kind of bare from here. Okay, so they don't have the jugs over here. These ones are $1.18, but they do have these ones over here that are $1.28. So I'm just gonna get two of these ones. All right, family, I am headed to the register. Let me show you guys everything that I have. I've got some salmon, some shrimp, some swai, a cup of waters. I got some cooking oil, some um, maple syrup. I got some broccoli and some cauliflower, lemons, strawberries, blackberries. I got some apples, some peppers, bananas, and some cucumbers. So I'm about to head to the register right now. How much do you guys think this is gonna come out to? Leave a comment down below and let me know how much you guys think this is gonna be. Do you guys think I'm gonna go over my $50 limit or do you think I'm gonna stay under? I honestly lost track of how much it was um, a while ago. I was counting, but I lost track. So let's head to the register and just hope for the best, all right? Let's go, guys. Okay, family, that was the end of my video. I spent a total of $51.61. So I went over my budget by $1.61. And I never go over my budget, but today I did. But that's okay. I got some good things. I was able to get everything I needed. And I did it on a $50 budget. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.